Delhi. Good morning to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jamyang. Today I'm going to show you the most expensive painting in the world which is called Thangka painting. Thangka painting is one of the great art of Asia. It is a gem of Tibetan culture. Thangka is originated in 8th century. It is mainly written the figure of Buddha or Buddhist Tava. And today I would like to show you how these paintings are made and will tell you why it is most expensive painting in this world and i hope that you will enjoy my video hours but we still haven't find a piece of mineral color this is my lunch Uh, it makes you really fresh and we call it cholo in Tibetan it is so sour it is really good when you feel thirsty you don't have to worry about getting hungry in the mountains everywhere we can find something to eat we must have to pass this cave I don't know how long we have to go into this cave and you can see here thousands and thousands of small stupas like that and these are all molded by clay
That's the green color. And this is the dark blue. I mean, these are all mineral, a natural color. Now we have found all our material for tanka. We have got a green color, we have got the yellow color, we have got the blue color. Three paintings will be no problem. So he's so happy now after finding lots and lots of minerals painting from this six hours walking inside the mountain. Here, here, and now I'm going to show you how the minerals were going to change in the color. Not really easy to find this kind of mineral color. to introduce you one of the best painter in all over Tibet. His name is Mr. Tenzin Punso. He is 42 years old. In this 10 years by hard working he have won 26 different prizes from the government. And he started to paint when he was 11 years old. And when he has free times he also will go to the monastery to research the murals of the monastery and also to paint the wall paintings in the monastery. And he's not only the best painter in Tibet, but also he's one of the best singer in Tibet. <laughs> Now it's a sketching time and these are like an ancient ruler.
finally we finished the most expensive painting in the world and now we are going to bring it to the famous local exhibition center in Lhasa. And right now we are here in Drupaling. So Drupaling is the only place where you can find the handicrafts in Lhasa. And when you are in Lhasa, I really recommend you to come here in this place to get the handicrafts from Tibet. It's a beautiful rock painting. And these rocks are all brought from Mount Everest. So it's a really, really good memory that you can get from Tibet. Let's <laughs> go. 